Right guys, so I've been out outside. It's absolutely, it's that horrible sort of drizzly, misty kind of day. Um, don't worry, this is actually Tommy's tail. He might come and say hello in a second. Um, and uh, this one, trying to photograph birds, doesn't make it easy, do you? Considering birds don't really trust you because you will try and eat them. Yeah, talking about you. Um, so yeah, uh, A6700, uh, two hundred or six hundred. Actually, I don't know if you can see though. It is quite damp. As you can see, the sparkles on there. Um, it's very misty out there. The wireless trigger. I mean, there's lots of different ones out there. It's a high speed sync. Um, Pixel King Pro. They've been around for years. These ones. They're quite old. Uh, so there's that, and then, as you can see here, the Sony. HVL F um, 60 RM flash, which is wet, uh, and a little bit of a, a rig that I kind of put together. I'll show you what it is. I'll take it apart. So, if I can actually get this undone now, let's take the flash off, turn her off. Um, So, me off there. So this is the, the small rig adapter that I use all the time. It's fantastic. It's um, you know the old Gorilla pods. They used to be like the bendy tripods that people used to like to use. Um, they were okay, but they were quite restricted. And when I'm out and about with the camera and uh, you know stuff, it's this kind of lets me leave a tripod at home. You've got a clamp there which you can clamp it to a tree. It's completely two ball joints so you can move these around however you want. It then locks up however you want. And then you can clamp it to a tree or a fence because it goes really big. And that's four, four fingers width wise. And it goes onto top of fences, gates and stuff like that quite easily. And then I added a um, Arca Swiss mount clamp to it which means you can clamp on loads of different things, obviously cameras. So if, I, if I'm out and about, I'm doing the, the walking with the RX-10 and stuff like that, and I've had it stationary and I've been talking to the camera, quite often it's this rather than a tripod, because it's tiny, it doesn't take up any space. It folds down to quite a small thing. I mean, probably a triangle is probably the smallest you probably want it to go, but it, it's tiny. And then there's a Arna Arcock, <laughs> I don't even know if you say that, uh, which has got an Arca Swiss uh, mount on it there, which clamps onto that. You've also got a cold shoe. It's also got hot shoe. Well, cold shoe, the bit that you stick onto your camera, this one you can stick stuff onto. Um, and then it mounts and around and you can rotate and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool to be using that. So this setup today was flash, wireless trigger, and receiver, obviously two bits there, and the flash, and then obviously a 200, a 600, and the A6700. Uh, managed to actually get some, the small birds, blue tits, robin, etc., etc., using flash. Otherwise we're shooting really, really crap light at the moment. The, the winter weather has been either pissing with rain all the time, that's why I haven't had a video out for so long, because the weather's just been horrendous, and I just thought, I need to get out and I thought this I've been putting the bird feeder out and everything fluffy hair going on bird feeder um, out and um, filling it up and the birds are really quite interested now which is good so I thought right let's take out the um, a6700 which is there and I thought well let's take a wireless flash out and see how that does um, and see how the a6700 does as well which which is great Obviously you've got an equivalent to 900 millimeters on the 200 to 600, which just gets you a little bit closer. 26 megapixels, which is plenty anyway. And um, having flash from one side, and they're quite often looking towards the bird feeder because that's what they're aiming towards. It was actually lighting them quite nicely. So I'm gonna go have a look at the pictures now. Let's hop to Photoshop basically, and I'll show you how they came out. Some probably aren't great because it overexposed a little bit, but because we were shooting raw, we've got quite a bit of um, leeway in the settings and things like that. 
So uh, yeah, I'm just pleased I went out and actually took some really because like I say, I haven't been using the camera very often at the moment, other than work, but for pleasure and for videos, it's been a little bit far few between just because chucking down with rain for the last two months, literally. Uh, and it's kind of knocks your, knocks your um, enthusiasm a little bit. I mean, I don't know if everybody else feels a bit the same. It's like, oh, another day of crap, crap weather. What's the point of going out? Um, I don't care, but I mean, I, like, you know, if, if you know me, I'll be out and using the camera gear in the wet. I mean, this one's, you can see it, it's quite moist. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I'll use my kit, what it's designed to do, you know, you use it in the rain, I don't care. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's hop over to the pictures. I didn't take that many, because a lot of it was waiting for the birds to come back. And especially Tommy, as you see, um, being there as well, which I think was possibly uh, hindering them coming back too quickly. So uh, yeah, it's... Uh... Right guys, the lighting is absolutely terrible. So what I've done is I've ripped up a clamp with my mount on, which has got the wireless trigger and flash gun set at once. Something other power, I can't remember what power is, pretty low. Um, so a short duration and then aiming around the area so the birds should get flashed as I take a picture. Um, we'll just have a little experimentation. Got the A6700 uh, and the flash trigger there which is a Pixel, Pring, uh, Pixel King Pro uh, and that will trigger the flash over there. Basically um, see what happens. Um, so a bit of experimentation really. See if the birds actually come back because it might freak them out that there's something hanging off the tree but they might just pick it up as being a uh, feeder. Hi right, guys, so, yeah so out in the uh, garden just over there I've got a bird feeder that has been up there for quite a while actually and I've just refilled it today um, and then earlier in the week as well. So they are um, quite regular, there's one on there now actually, which is really good. Uh, I've got a flash gun with a wireless trigger on it. Uh, I just really want to test it out and see what the lighting situation would be like and if it freaks them out massively. Um, I've got it clamped off the branch. I don't think you can actually see it there because my camera is filthy dirty. Um, Interesting to see um, if they're bothered by the flash gun hanging there. Which one wasn't? It's just been then gone. But then I moved and then it uh, it buggered off. So they'll come back, I'm sure. Uh, what I normally do is stand by the gate, and I'm underneath the edge of the stables there, shooting through the trees. So I'm kind of like not really their point of view. If you know, they can't really see me that well. Um, Hopefully I can get a picture of them on the, uh, not on the feeder generally, but on the surrounding um, branches, which makes it a lot better. Uh, but I thought if I can use a bit of lighting today, it'd be quite interesting, but I just want to see what birds do. Um, A6700, little beast camera. So I just wanted to see what um, what it would do. And from here, like you see, you probably just saw the flash fire, I'd imagine. No, just slightly, slightly out of shot, actually. Um, but, uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if they come back. actually uh, allow me to get some shots which would be nice. Um. So I'm pretty quiet anyway. Um, I hope everyone's having a good time. I haven't been on here much recently because I've been so busy uh, and there's something happening which 
will come to light very, very soon. I'm going to launch it on the 1st, 1st or 2nd of January and then be a good start to the year, basically. Uh, so quite exciting. Um, and then there's something happening which will come to light very, very soon. I'm going to launch it on the 1st, 1st or 2nd of January and then be a good start to the year, basically. Uh, so quite exciting. Um, and then uh, it'll all be good. So, yeah, it's uh, interesting. I'm just going to video this so you can kind of see what I've got set up on the... I don't know where the button is, the call button's up there. There you go. So that's the uh, setup at the minute. It's clamped up at the top there on the branch. And uh, flash gun trigger and Arca Swiss mount to hot shoe adapter, which normally I'd have on my hot shoe with a or something clipped to my camera, but there we go. Um, well, I'm going to go stand under the thing. I'll be back shortly if I get some shots. So guys, as you can see here, there is the setup and that's kind of what my lighting was looking like. Um, there's a bird on the feeder there, actually. Um, so light in that area, um, some of the branches and everything as well. Um, worked quite well, just as a bit of a quick setup, really. And it turns out the birds don't really care. You can see some of the light casting along that branch there. Didn't quite light the bird. He was almost out of the lighting area. Uh, so it is a bit hit and miss. And the good thing is they don't really seem to react to it. And that's when Tommy decided to walk down towards me. Spotted me from about 200 feet away. And uh, started heading down towards the stables area. Um, yeah, so on down he came. To us, he wasn't really much of a problem. He, he just likes to be around me. And to be honest, the birds didn't really care too much either. That's one of the natural shots there. The lighting was pretty crap. That was ISO 4000. Um, and that's just in one of the little bushes and where the brambles are. Um, they like to hide in there before they go up onto the feeder. Um, behind Tommy there, as you can see. Uh, him sat on there. Another ISO, ISO 4000 shot. Uh, like I say, the lighting was awful. It was very sort of drizzly, misty as well. So water in the air does never is never good. Um, here's one of the flash shots, uh, Robin, and as you can see there, the lighting had changed as well. So the lighting had actually got slightly brighter for a bit, and then it dulled down again. So as much as you're expecting to, you know, uh, get the shots you might get, it actually shows that as the light can change, um, it does affect your shots. So these shots here are probably the best ones, um, and uh, actually quite quite like them. Uh, different zoom levels uh, just really cool and I was shooting at ISO 100 or 200 depending on uh, what I was messing around with and you can see that um, they're sharp and minimal noise which is really nice just from a one flash setup luckily I could get the right angle on there and um, they weren't too bad so that worked quite nicely um, it's just a case of getting out there I think I was shooting one one sixtieth of a second uh, shutter speeds because the flash is actually freezing your subject as well so it's not necessarily the shutter speed of the camera that is actually doing any freezing not they were moving much they were they were stationary would have been quite cool to get some in flight but they move so quick um, that you, it's very difficult to actually uh, uh, move a quick, as quick as they do kind of thing like I say this is the um, uh, the actual setup again just so you can kind of see and I'll zoom in as well so you can kind of see a bit more detail on what's actually going on but basically um, it's quite easy to do if you've got the ability to do it I mean you, I could have put the flash on a tripod and been a little bit more uh, direct with it but I just thought you know what it's just I've just got to get out and use the camera I need to get out and actually just have a little playing around and actually to be honest, I was really quite impressed that the birds didn't care about the flash uh, and the duration was very short, um, one, one, yeah, one sixty-fourth power, so very quite, uh, quite low on what it can uh, achieve. So one to one would be a long duration, which gives you the most bright light in your shot. But if you drop it right down to, I think it goes like to one one twenty-eighth power, which is really really short. Um, so you know it can give you a really really short um, flash, uh, which is good for freezing things. But the um, the birds just didn't care. So, 
Anyway, um, hopefully you found that a little bit interesting. Uh, maybe give people a bit of inspiration. I've been lacking inspiration for the last couple of months, really, just because the weather has been horrendous. Um, it's not even been nice to, you know, windy or, you know, decent light with big waves and stuff down on the beach. It's not even really been that much at all. Um, a couple of days here or there, but nothing sort of to really make you want to uh, get down there. But anyway, um, lots coming soon, like I say. Hope everyone has a good Christmas if I don't get another video out. And um, please click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well. And I shall see you soon for more, hopefully, interesting videos. Uh, leave some comments below if you would like to. Any questions, uh, feel free um, about this setup or anything like that. And I shall do my best. But the A6700 is a little beast of a camera. Loving it.